welcome back to the last episode of the Repainting Story Wars series. Again, very sorry for the continued delay in the upload in the uploads of the of the videos. Um, I have been very busy with finishing off my course at the moment with sixth form, and I am about two two and a bit. Um, I've got two pieces of work to finish, and I'm done with everything. And I've got three months off, which is all good. Um, so that's why I haven't really been, you know, on here as such. But I, I have got back to streaming again. You can find me on my Twitch. I'll put that in the description below. Um, but today we're going to be focusing on uh, how to do bus moquette, windows, and the final touches to the livery that we started in the episode two, which was the Ipswich buses repaint. Uh, I'm kind of going to go off guard with the whole keep it realistic today because I want to show you how to obviously do swoops as well because I know people have been wanting me to do that. Um, so I'm going to do a little swoop on that on that uh, livery paint and then afterwards what I'm going to do is is I'm going to then um, put that into OMSI so I have to do a CTI file and everything and then put that into the game. Uh, so if, it should be quite a, um, qu quite a quick episode today but if you want to know how to do um, the last two steps and refer back to episode one episode two where in episode one I teach you, you know, how the basics of using the template, where to get like the software from, how to open a file. Um, episode two is you know how to make a more complicated livery. So in episode one we made like a base grey with like a with a font, or uh, well, like a basic logo. And then in episode two I made an M switch bus repaint where you know it was more complicated for maybe some people, but for me not so not so much. Um, whereas you know people might find this repaint a lot easier to make, where other people might not. So I wanted, you know, we wanted to make it a range for all, so beginners and also people who are, who are still making repaints and maybe get confused or get, or, you know, forget how to do things sometimes. Um, anyways, enough of the chat. Um, today we're going to, I'm going to be referring back to this. So we're, this is the Ipswich Buster repaint that we started in the episode previously, and obviously I left. So we've got the logo, we've got the, you know, the two um, bits of colour, and with this, with, this, with this episode today, I'm gonna, you know do a little swoop so you know how to do the swoops it's quite simple um very basic and also you know how to put it onto the windows so i if i can remember from the um uh, from ben who very good at vip switch buses and stuff um he, i think there was an omni decker which had this type of livery so it's going to start off here okay it's a bit thick but we can sort that in a minute and it went like up, I'm pretty sure. Uh, let me turn the thickness down because it's a bit too thick. For, actually, no, hang on, that will do. So I'm going to put it onto be be Bezier. Bezier. I want to align it up nicely, like that. So I'm I'm pretty sure this livery doesn't exist on it. Switch buses IRL. But obviously, I don't. I'm not really doing. I'm not really doing it as realistic as such because he was doing it on Windows. So, and then what? And then what we want to do is, is you want to, then go onto the window layer, and then just, cop or the paint layer, and just copy over the what we've done for the windows. So for this, it's just that, and then we're going to leave it at that. I'll just go back to this in a second. And we want to go to add new layer, drag this up so it's above guides, and then paste. And there we go, it's on the windows now. And then we obviously want to get rid of, you know, the purple. So we're just going to go, go to here, magic wand, keep it on this. And it would just, you know, get rid of the stuff that we've done so far. And there we go. This is that done. Um, so we could add a bit more like legals and, you know, more logos up here. But obviously I'm not going into that depth today. Um because I'm just teaching you how to, you know, put it into games, CTI files, etc. Uh, who would like Discord's new logo, by the way? Put it in the comments below, because I quite like it, to be fair. Underrated opinion, but I quite like it. So that's that finished. So then what we want to do is we want to go up to here, save as. And as you can see here, with, with all my previous repaints, uh, you want to keep the exterior R. So we want to go back to here, and we're going to call it Ipswich. Oh. Ips which buses and then underscore you have to make it he has to put the underscore after the you know the this section because otherwise it won't save or it won't save in game always 
always always so you can go back and you know make more changes to the delivery save it as a pdn in the templates folder but don't overwrite this because otherwise you can't make changes and you won't have a base delivery to base it off so always 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 save it as that but before we go into that what i want to do before that is i want to download the detail template to make the repaints look a bit more realistic so with that we want to go uh, to this, we're going to go to Fellows Films. I should have done this previously, or you know, before I started, but hey ho, <laughs> we move. Um, on to two, or you could just type in up here detailed. Uh, oh, there we go, there. Made by Frosty. Again, I will put these in the description below. Um, so you want to download that. Fairly simple on how to do it. So you'll see it downloads up here, you extract it, um, and you it's 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 quite simple on how to do it to be fair. If you know you know how to do if you even know how to do it before, you know how to do it. But obviously if you're new to you know repainting, um this template will make your repaints look more realistic than they are. Trust me, trust me with that one. They'll make them look a lot more realistic because obviously with this when it's just that it doesn't look as realistic as such because there's no like grills um i don't know uh, grills uh you know headlight coverings etc or like the um the little lights at the side i'm not i don't really know the technical names of this so don't come at me because i don't know the technical names okay thank you so we want to go to downloads okay it's disappeared to be on templates downloads and then go to detail template pack then got the extract to okay and then want to open that up omzi 2 vehicles london city bus texture templates and then pdn or psd so if you use photoshop it would be psd and paint on it would be pdn so we want to go to the euro 6 why not uh open the image and then we want to do what we've done so far so you want to Go to move selected pixels and we want to just click on it. Control C, Control V. Same with the layer 6. So we want to make a new layer. And then that's that. Oh, actually, we need to add the logos as well. So new layer, layer 5, paste. Done. Awesome. So what I'll do is I'll quickly move this up. And you can, you can get rid of the stuff. So you go into like the specific or the selected template or the different template that are in the or the layers that are in that are in the different um, boxes here. And you can get rid of stuff. So I want to get rid of the camera here. Uh, select that. Delete. Done. So now, as now it does look a lot better than it did with this livery. See, look at the contrast between this and this. This one to me looks a lot more appealing. Than this delivery i wouldn't download a delivery which looks like this so without like the detail template because the detail template makes it look a bit more realistic if that makes sense so then want to go to what we did before so file save as and then we want to go to quick access uh, template and we just want to overwrite actually I mean, we don't know we have that hang on we want to overwrite this but obviously we want to change the name so Ipswich. buses underscore as don't forget the underscore and if you want to come back to make more change to the delivery save it as a pdn if you save it as a png or a dds i always recommend dds but if you save it as just a dds folder or file you can't edit it back you've lost you know you can't make changes you know add more things or make it better so always 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 save it as a pdn so save and that is now finished so now I'm thinking, oh, Kenzie, how do you get the windows? Quite simply, you want to get rid of all the different layers. So this one, this one, this one. And you just want, and that one. <laughs> and you just, and that one, and that one. And you just want to keep layer five, okay? So we can ignore that, it's fine for now. So all we want to do then 
is we want to save as and we want to save it as uh hang on I'm just trying to think of how I saved it for my one uh library r png windows always saves as a png cuz if you save it as a dds the the texture you put on the windows don't they look crap pretty much um so what we want to do is save it as uh ipsis bosses underscore windows pretty simple so save okay flatten and we want to add all the layers back so we just undo everything we just done and then we want to go back up here save as texture templates uh, back up to here uh, back to texture, back to livery R, save it as a DDS file. Because DDS doesn't make your bar show up as black if you spawn a lot more in or you lose memory. It just, it saves, it goes black. Oh no, it doesn't go black. It saves it from going black. So flatten. And that's it. The the base livery is now finished. So there, now what we want to do is we want to now do a seat mocap, which is pretty simple, pretty simple to do. So we go back to quick access, templates, and you have your leather seats or seats. So um, you want to leave it. I if you want to make a leather seat, you can make a leather seat. It's the same. It was the same. It's the same type of context as um, this one. So we could go into the one that I've already done. So Courtney seats. Have we made a PNG? PDN even? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. So and your so it, when you open it up first time, it should be as a PDN. As a PDN, obviously. Good, good, good. So here we have we have the different seat mocats. So um, if you go to a website called Cam Camera Fabrics, uh, this has all the different types of mocats that bosses use. Well, not all of them, because some of them are hunt, like made for a company, and they don't, they're not published on this website or different company. So you have all different types of mocats. I don't really know the specific one that Ipswich use, so I was gonna. Just a magical one. So let's go with the ADL one that they use. So the Area Classic, and let's go with this one. So we then want to uh, downloads, and we'll just download uh, imagery. Hang on. We'll get. Do we download this? Open file. Uh, extract. Extract to. Done. And back to downloads and then this I think it's this one this one and it'll be this one and then open that as a new image and all we want to do is just take this um, get rid of this with this one with these you want to paint them do not put the moquette on them otherwise you have the backs of the seats with moquette on them and that's not how they are IRL so and then you can make it look better by you know shrinking it down a bit and just keep copying it and you can probably make a few changes because obviously I've made a bit of a mistake there 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 and there we go finished so save as a PDN because you might want to change this to that I'm going to change as IB seats save and then we go back to save as livery R PNG. Awesome. Flatten. Done. So now we we'll, now we we'll want to go back to uh, the livery R template uh, or livery R section and you can literally use any CTI which is included with the livery R. I recommend this. I recommend this as a repainter myself because it makes life so much easier that someone has already done CTI for you and you don't have to do it. I think there's one in the templates. There's one in the templates. Awesome source. So it has, you know, everything included within this template folder. So you've got the interior moldings, interior ceilings, interior cab doors, handrails. We're not going to touch them today because we're more focused on like the repainting, kind of not the interior. Obviously, the the seats I just is very easy to do. Um, so this just has so you know the mouldings, handrails, stop bells, staircase logos, etc., etc., etc. So with that, we can take that uh, livery R paste. Uh, where is it? 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 There, and we can rename that 
to Ipswich buses. Done. And that will be up here now. So make sure the name always says the same. Ipswich buses. Have I spelled that correctly? I have. And the exterior, this bit, is what you've called the file. So you want to easily go right click, rename, copy, and then paste that into there as so uh, but we can get rid of all of this all of this all of this all of this uh, so seats rename copy ips switch buses and paste done um, you also uh, the with the windows there will be there will be a bit in one of these i think it's the poppies one which is probably the best one to go to the poppies eti this one here has the windows in it but obviously i've already done it with my repaint so i'm just gonna go to the CTO that i've made for courtney and the interior glass and interior glass you want to copy that uh paste that into here change the name to ipswich buses ipswich buses not ms sn63 vty and the windows is what you called it. So that I think that would be a switch. I think I called it, didn't I? Yeah. So rename, copy. Not that one, because I don't want to change that. Paste. Paste. Awesome. Sorted. So we save that. And now we launch OMSI. So I'll come back once I've launched OMSI. <laughs> okay, everyone. So I've now finished. Well, I've now loaded into OMSI. And I can show you the finished product of, you know, the last three episodes of what we've been working towards. So, it's not fantastic because obviously it's only like a basic design in my terms. But this is the finished product of what you should get as well when you're making your repaints. So, as you can see, it's got, um, you know, the swoop on the window. Uh, it's got the, I haven't done it on the other side because it was only doing it on one side. But this is what you should get at the outcome. You can see the seats. Um, oh, the seats are all done. They're working, which is the main thing. Both these ones and upstairs. You've got a swoop in the inside as well. When you open the window, it goes through like that. And yeah, so overall, that is pretty much it for the episode, for the tutorial now. Um, sorry for the like the massive like gap between posting videos. It's been a it's been a while and this has been a lot of stress on my terms at the moment even though getting school finished out of the way because i finish uh, on friday which is fun um because i'm basically doing like an as level kind of type of thing um but yeah so hopefully um this tutorial has helped you a lot over the last few episodes and if you have any other questions or you want any help with anything just drop me through a oh right, i don't have dms open so i'm not going to say that just drop me a ping on my server and i can try and assist you in there but thank you for so thank you so much for the support and you know the keep you know and keep on watching this um and your patience as well um thank you and hopefully i shall see you in the next stream either on this channel or on twitch or on my next video until then uh, have a good rest of your day and I shall see you again soon. Thank bye.